our topic for today is about JavaScript program, and, and this time around we discuss about the OOP, OOP stands for Object Oriented Programming, and uh, we'll be applying the class and of course the objects plus the method. So the purpose of this is, of course, this is to hone your skills how to write a program in JavaScript. So this is quite the same to your Java programming and Python programming, but again this time we'll be using the OOP. This is to uh, enhance a program, of course, run a program of uh, uh, in, uh, in, a, in a unique way to fetch or, of course, to display the information. So we start first with a class, and then we declare, of course, data. This is a bit akin to your Java programming, but this time around, we'll be using the constructor to declare our what of our um, of our objects. So in Java, we are using the, of course, the private and, of course, the protected and the public modifier. This time around, again, I use this constructor. Let's say we have here name, location, one. So these are the parameters that we'll be using in the entire program. So this point name plus to name, and then this point location one plus to location one. Okay. Now, after that, what will happen? So we will use here, of course, the getters for the program. And uh, for Java programming, we're using the void, and of course, we're using there, of course, the static, the public void, something like that. Here, we don't use this. We just go directly to the name of the method. Let's say we have here dips data, and then we have here as part of the getters. The purpose of the getters is to return the value of these parameters in the main program. So let's say console.log, the purpose of the console.log is to display, of course, the value. So we have here, let's say we can display the, okay, we can use, of course, the tick value, okay. Uh, this is one way of printing the data. Let's say this is the output, okay. We can use this as part of the display, and then we can use also this uh, method to display our data. This point name plus, and then we have here this point location one. So we're gonna batch these parameters at the top of the program. This is where fetch the information at the top and then display it right here. So the main program is the data. This is the blueprint of the program or the class name. And we have here, of course, the field members. These are the objects name, location, same time we have here the method. After that, what will happen? So, it's very important that we need to uh, we need to be we need we need to be careful in placing those uh, uh, brackets. So this is the main program. Let's say let let's say uh, data one equals to new. This is the constructor of that. So this is the representations of the uh, of the class. Okay, and then this will be instantiated. Okay, using the uh, main class of the program. So we have here data, and then we need to use two parameters right here. What are the parameters here? We have the name, and of course we have the location, and we put here, of course. And at the same time, we of course, now, because we have the instantiation of data one, it does call, of course, our getters. The getter here is, of course, the dips data. So dips data is to display the data from the main class, okay? So we have here data, and then when we run the program, okay, we have here, I think this is the error, we don't uh, have the plus symbol here to concatenate our statement, that's a minor error, let us put the plus symbol right there, and again, we run again a program, so we have here, Arnold, this is the output, okay, let us put space right here, then run it again, to make a neat output, so this is the output, okay, all right, so this is the purpose of this statement, now, what if we will um, use the Node.js, Okay, and uh, this is the preparatory also of uh, getting involved to the Node.js program. That's part of your uh, JavaScript framework. What if you copy this program? Okay, you copy this program. Same time, we'll uh, transfer this to a new editor. Okay, let's use an editor right here. And we call in the sublime text and then file new. Okay, so we have here the editor. Okay, let's copy the program and uh, I will. Uh, uh, create a program right here and then uh, let us go to syntax and write a javascript code right here okay javascript i will cut and paste the program so we have here the class data we have the constructor and these are the properties for your uh, constructor the name and of course the location these are the field sets and we have here of course the method at the same time we declare data as part of the main class this is not the representation of the data we're in data now owns the following name location and this data getters now let us save this file, save us. I will save this to my directory where I uh, installed my Node.js program. Okay, so I will save this as, uh, let's say, um, test. 
data. Okay. Now this is already stored, stored, stored in my memory, in my computer rather. So I will go in my uh, in my CFD command and check, of course, the Node.js uh, directory. Change directory, Node.js, and then we'll check, of course, all the programs for the JS. Of course, they have here the test data for JS. Now, to uh, run this program, you can use the Node, and then at the same time, test data for JS. So I have already um, posted my the first part of this video for the Node.js running the hypertext markup language in the Node.js. So we have here the output. So this is the output, our Node ELO. Now, the next part of this of the topic is what if we will create a program that will call another program using of course the Node.js program or using the JavaScript program. It's just like you are, are mimicking the Node.js program to write your own uh, package. Okay, so I will write a package right here. Let's say what's that package? Now, every time that you write a program in Node.js, did you notice that you have of course like for example var HTTP plus two, and then require HTTP. So what if we will use this kind of statement, but we are, we will not use, of course, the hypertext smart uh, transfer protocol um, module, but we will create our own module. How to do that? It's quite simple. It's, uh, that's very simple. Okay, we'll again create another program right here. Okay. So what is the program? So the program is, of course, the same thing, the same uh, 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 JavaScript program. Uh, it's a J another JavaScript program wherein we will invoke this library to be part of our main program as part of the OP program. Okay, so we will use here first the export modules. Okay, we're gonna change first our um, the syntax of this editor. This is what part of our JavaScript program. Export modules. Okay, equals to let's say function, and then we have your message. Send console that log. Okay, let's say uh, welcome. Hello. To, uh, uh, no, no, we will put here, of course, uh, welcome to, let's say, uh, no GS. We have put here plus space, then plus, then we will put the message. All right, so we have it here. Now, the purpose of the export module is just like you are um, creating your own library of packages to be part of your uh, JavaScript program. Okay, so this is very simple. We will save this as file, and then we have here. Uh, the export module will save this file as let's say save us and then i'll call this as part as part of node live okay node live point yes i'll store this in the node as the same folder where i stored my um, test one point data okay now we have here the export module function messages the purpose of this is to what um create you know um, a, a method that will display this will come node js and of course uh, the parameter that you will be infusing later on to the main program. So I'll go back to the test yes. And let's say we have your bar. Let's say I will have Arnold equals to, let's say, well, this is you know, a variable. We have to use require. And I'll put there, of course, what's the name of the program? The name of the program is uh, script point GS. No, no. Node GS node. And then lib point GS. All right. That's it. After that, what will happen? Well, I can immediately use Arnold and then let's say I will print. Okay, I will print uh, my name is Arnold. Okay, let us check the program and run a program. File, save, go back to our CMD command. All right, this is the CMD command. Then node, yes. I will again, of course, I recall what is the program. So we have the test DS node and then uh, test data point is the test the program. Okay, I have here the error. Let us uh, modify this error. Uh, let us uh, rectify this error rather. <laughs> okay, so the error is something here. Okay, I will, we will modify that. Okay, we'll check right here. Okay, um, well, this is the error. I'm sorry. So this is what module, sorry, module that export. Okay, so we have here we'll do the export functions message. This is the parameter we will we, we'll return it to the main program using the console.log, and this is part of our function. And then we will go back right here for our test GS. So we will uh, again compile this, save, then go to our send command, and we'll go back right there in our node GS program. And then let us node 
test data point is. Okay, so we have here the error. If you see this error, okay, uh, you should be glad. This is to, uh, you know, error can, you know, uh, honor skips in programming. So code module.com, to say the path of the module of toss this data uh, can't be found. So we will unravel this problem, okay? We'll go back to our main program. Okay, let us check it right here. So we're gonna fuse this. We're gonna fuse that point. The purpose of this is to locate uh, every folder in breath, every part of the Node.js uh, level. So we're gonna save it again, save, and then go back to our main program. Then let us compile it. So there you have it. So we have here now the program. Arnold Idilo, welcome to Node.js. My name is Arnold. So this is now the, the library that we have created in our uh, main JS uh, Node.js program. This is the library, okay? And uh, we use the module that exports, okay, to uh, create our own package. And then we call it inside the main JS, uh, no uh, Java C program. So this is it. We use our node and of course use the require statement and then import this node underscore libjs in our program. So the content of our node, the purpose of our node is to call, of course, the method of the node libjs to print any statement here. And we have here uh, the default, uh, you know, um, statement that will come to Node.js, and this will return of any value or string here, using the message function. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. More power.